guys, this is Seb Sanford. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And this is the video that you've been waiting for that I've announced back about a week ago on my YouTube channel. Well, for this video, I'm going to be wearing my reading glasses as Kali Culkin, as Richard Tyler wears reading glasses in this movie that I'm about to unbox with some trading cards. Um, it's a booster box. Um, let me show you. It's this booster box. Um, I'm going to be unboxing 36 packs of trading cards inspired by the Page Master movie from 1994, a classic Macaulay Culkin movie. Um, and this is a booster box. Um, you know what? Rather than just explain what's in the booster box besides um, 36 packs of cards, um, eight cards per pack, and let's go and unbox this bad boy. Uh, I think this might be another one of my longest videos ever, so let's get started. And now it's time to put this camera on a tripod. Okay, let's do this thing. I've got my trading cards um, booklet. Um, I put it in permanent lockers so that I know which trading cards I put in there. Like this here booster box. Uh, Page Master Brackets 1994. The year it was released on November 23rd in time for Thanksgiving holiday. Thanksgiving Day weekend, actually. Uh, I'm pretty sure that in some of these um, 36 packs that We'll probably have some character cards in there somewhere, but I've never opened a, a trading card booster box before. I, I've seen Logan Paul do this with Pokemon cards, and I'm pretty sure he's going to keep on doing that on his YouTube channel. It, it's, it's been like a month since he posted his last Pokemon trading card video. I'm hoping that he does more, but anyways, we're focusing on the Page Master with Macaulay Culkin and Sir Patrick Stewart and Whoopi Goldberg. Anyways, that's open this bad boy up very carefully I better put the scissors down don't want to harm anyone I don't know how long this box has been sealed probably since they stopped making these cards it's a little bit um, bented and dented on the sides it's not perfect but it's second hand, it's on, it was on eBay for, I don't know how much, I don't know how much it was, but it was on eBay. Anyways, let's open this up. Oh, here they are. It's good as new. I never thought it would look like that by the time I opened this box. Okay, so there are 36 packs. I did do a calculation on this on my iMac calculator, my iPhone calculator. I put the title card at the bottom of the screen, and probably like right now. Um, anyways, let's get started. Packet number one. Again, this probably might be another one of the longest videos ever. Scissors at the ready. I'll go for this side. Again, there are eight cards in each packet. First one. Oh, okay. The first one we have um, Richard Tyler um, in his knight armor, like a helmet, a shield, and a knight sword, who is preparing to face off the fire breathing dragon um, uh, before he reaches the exit sign at the end of the film. Uh, again, um, there are some few spoilers along the way, but if you're watching this right now, and, and on the back we have a description. Um, uh, not a fair fight, and the card number um, 71. Um, feel free to pause on the video if you want to see the description here, or probably I'll read this one out for you. Determined to prevail over the ferocious dragon, Richard prepares to plunge his sword into the beast's soft underbelly, but the dragon reacts by snapping Richard up onto his tail and toward his mouth. He then simply swallows Richard up, whole. But Richard will find a way out of it. Uh, if you haven't seen the film yet, make sure to do so. I'll put it over here. I'll be I better open the booklet later once I get to the end. Okay, the next card, um, when the book Horror, played by Frank Welker, I think. Uh, he was from Disney's Aladdin. Um, being tied up by the people of Milliput um, from Gulliver's Travels. Um, I, I've never seen the classic version of Gulliver's Travels, The Three Worlds of Gulliver, but I have seen Jack Black's um, Gulliver's Travels, in, in which the film will turn 10 ne by next Christmas. 
And again, feel free to pause the video if you want to see the full inscription, the description of the card. Um, this is card number 55. The next card, this, there's horror again. Um, he's scared of almost everything in the horror section. Horror drops in. And card number 24. And we have our first character card in the pack. Uh, oh, and another one. We'll get to that shortly. There's the book Adventure, played by Sir Patrick Stewart, aka Professor X, in the X Men movies. And okay, there's a description at the back of each character card of who, who he or she is. Uh, let me read one of these character cards. Uh, Adventure. Adventure is ready for anything, or at least he thinks so. This snail. The snarling swashbuckler adores the challenge of stormy seas and vicious pirates, even if he occasionally falls a little short of her heroism. Although Adventure doesn't like to admit he sometimes feels things like fear, sadness, and love, the truth is he is basically a marshmallow with a whole lot of spirit. That's who Adventure is. And the next character card here is Dr. Jekyll in which we come across in the horror section of the Page Master, the Illustrated World. Dr. Jekyll. Um, Dr. Jekyll is polite, well-spoken, and doesn't seem like he could be a threat to anyone. He certainly welcomes visitors into his home with great hospitality. Unfortunately, the good doctor has one very bad habit. He concocts, uh, he concocts and digests a strange and exotic potion which, once swallowed, automatically transforms him into a completely different person. Um, that is, of course, uh, Mr. Hyde. Uh, that's the monster he becomes by the time he drinks the potion. Okay, council card number two already sorted. And we have another look at the fire dragon, and there's Macaulay Culkin, um, sorry, Richard Tyler. Um, uh, let's turn around to the back. Again, feel free to pause on the video if you want to see the full description. And this is card number 61. Oh, we have another Macaulay Culkin. He's terrified of the Greyhound from I don't know which book it is in the library by the time he comes illustrated. And the title is Releasing the Hound. Uh, let's call it a Greyhound. Card number 23. And we have another Richard Tyler at the end of this pack. I'm wondering who the, the mysterious of tall figure was by the time he enters the illustrated world and th thinks that he's become animated and he has been animated in the production process. It took three years to make. And and the quote here, by the time he reaches it, he's, I'm a cartoon, but he's actually an illustration as said by Christopher Lloyd in the movie. And this is card number 15. And there's the description at the back as well. Okay, it's time to open this booklet and add these cards to the collection. Okay, the first pack sorted, and it goes in the bin. It fell over, I'll pick it up by the time I finish the, the whole booster box. Okay. Next pack. And scissors at the ready again. Okay, we start the second pack with the Page Master and his tall staff. Um, after all, he is no Gandalf of the Great in Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit. And card number 16. And the title, Meeting the Page Master. And there's the description on the back of the card. The next card, I think this is an illustration. Um, probably from Gulliver's Travels, or probably the Grimm's fairy tales, like Three Little Pigs and the Big Bad Wolf blowing down the brick house, but if the brick house is strong, you probably know the rest. Anyways, next card. Oh, we have our Page Master poster on this card. Oh, oh wait, I, I nearly forgot that these cards also have some uh, posters on um, some puzzles, like connecting the dots and crosswords and mazes, I think. Anyways, back to 
page master poster. And on the back, there's a card checklist, um, number A. But I don't need to do the checklist. It's all fine. It's all good. Okay, next, another Richard Tyler. Um, he's about to open Jack and the Beanstalk and find a way out of the dragon's uh, belly. Um, so he goes up the beanstalk and says that he hates heights. Um, he's afraid of heights. Like, um, Richard Tyler, he probably he has the fear of everything, like pandophobia. Um, that's the word I heard in Charlie Brown Christmas by Lucy Van Pelt. And that's what Richard Tyler has. The title of the beanstalk and card number 37 and the description as well. Next one. Where Richard Tyler and the pirates and adventurer and Long John Silver arrive at Treasure Island, and I think I see a little crap here on the on this tree here, and some plants and palm trees I think it was a, with coconuts, and the and the tiny ship right over here that that belongs to Long John Silver, and the title Welcome to Treasure Island of Robert Louis Stevenson, and the card number is forty two. There's the description. How many times do I have to say there's the description on each card of them? You probably know the rest. Okay, three cards left. And I see a... There's the exit. And the tower with the exit of the Wandering Books. Um, in which Richard Tyler and the three books are uh, horror, adventure, and fantasy. And they, they're nearly about to approach home. But I don't know which one it is. Okay, what's next? Oh! Uh, we have we're going to a live action card now, and this is one of the still lions um, from when you enter the public library. That's Joy of Thunderstorm, in which Richard Tyler is very scared of. At the beginning, um, he's afraid of lightning and thunderstorms. That's why they opened a film in live action. Last card, we have horror and and fantasy on the magic carpet from Arabian Nights um, from one of her pages. Um, Fantastic Flight, card number 65, in the description. Oh, I forgot, um, which number was this? Um, uh, Shelter from the Storm, um, and card number 10, and the description as well. And that's pack two sorted. And let's put each of these cards into the book. My collectible book. <laughs> Second pack sorted. Let's go on over to the third pack in this booster box. Okay. Let's see what we got inside here. Oh, we've got a uh, Moby Deck um, or the Whale, um, Herman Millville. At the title on the back of the card, um, Moby moves in. And the card number is number 34. There's another Richard Tyler and he's scared again um, because he jumped to a very high spot in one of the sections in the fiction section of the library and he's about to fall and he grabs um, fantasy which is in which he didn't notice that it was a talking book that he just grabbed and um, his glasses are nearly about to come off and there are a few falling books from the section that he just jumped on from the ladder and this, it's a desperate go a desperate grab, as you like to call it. This is card number 20. And this is one of the, okay, um, we're still in the adventure section, um, probably the fiction section, I don't know. And there's adventure, so Patrick Stewart. And at the back, uh, adventure appears. It's a card number 18. That's two cards ahead of number 20, in which I already showed you over here. And next, over here, there's Richard and Fantasy and Horror, and I think they're about to crash land. I think they're about to crash land into a part of the big tower that leads to the exit um, from the fire breathing dragon. It's breathing out fire. It's it's no Maleficent, let me tell you that. And, and the title, An Unscheduled Landing. Um, yes, you could say that, because they're about to crash land and the flying carpet from Arabian Nights is set on fire. And this is card number 60, 66. And next card, a, a close-up shot of 
Mr. Hyde, uh, like I said, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, uh, he becomes this monster inside of him after drinking a potion. And Jekyll becomes Hyde. This is card number 27. And another close-up, um, probably a mid-shot. Um, this is one of the pirates pointing the gun at who knows who. I, I don't know. And facing down a gun. Card number 45. And there's Richard Tyler landing on the Arabian Nights carpet, saved by the rug. I, w I would say it's a rug, but let's say, uh, we're gonna stick with magic carpet. And this is card number 62. <laughs> uh, float a lot. Um, maybe that's not the right word I'm looking for. And there's adventure kissing <laughs> fantasy. <sighs> and and <laughs> we should call that a surprise kiss after 66 so this is card number 67. now it's time to put these cards from pack three into the collectible book uh, the booklet uh, on youtube um some time ago i looked for a page master video game walkthrough video that and one of them included Macaulay Culkin himself um as he's a grown actor now um he uh, that was the time, um, I think that was recorded or uh, put up on YouTube a week before Macaulay did that Google Assistant advert with um, Home Alone. Uh, that was five days before Christmas in 2018. And I really enjoyed that advert. <laughs> um, but th that was almost um, two years before Home Alone celebrated its 30th anniversary this year. Um, but by the time that advert was released, it was 28 years old. Anyways, moving on. Next card. Next. Oh, we have the same card. Uh, we have the same Greyhound card. Oh, this is new. This is new. I think these are one of the aluminum foil cards, I think. Uh, I'll have to check the back of the box, or maybe feel free to do so on the teaser that I put up on my channel. Um, um, Fantasy Whoopi Goldberg um, is holding Richard Tyler's library card, um, and she's like, I'm a book, honey, I can read. And it says F8, um, this fantasy, and I think she's behind the Page Master logo. I, I think that's what happens when you take out an aluminum foil card like this one. And we have the same um, Richard Tyler uh, I'm a Cartoon card, uh, card number 15. I should put that aside. Oh, I think we have another one of these. Um, I think this was from uh, Gulliver's Travels, or probably um, uh, Arabian Nights, or whatever that is. I probably don't feel like um, going through the whole thing. And I think this one, it's a crossword. Um, I've done crosswords before, but with a Peanuts um, Daily Extra Calendar. So we might as well put this one aside. And the next one is Pan. I think that's a fawn, as, as shown in the music sequence for whatever you imagine by whoever sings that song on the soundtrack. And I think he's holding a horn, um, because I think that's what fawns do. Uh, like some kind of instrument, like in Fantasia, which it's the Disney film uh, number three or four, which celebrated its 80th anniversary this year. Okay, Pan. Existing only in the colorful land of fantasy, Pan dances merrily through his carefree days, tooting a cheerful melody through his flute. That's what it is, it's a flute. He entertains, he entertains his fellow fiction dwellers and himself as well. Pan is a setter. A setter? I don't know. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I'll probably put a meaning for this word in, in, in the next title card, which you might see right now. And as such, possesses the body of a goat and the head of a boy. But nothing is unusual in this dreamlike world. Okay, another counter card sorted. Oh, this is uh, where the fire-breathing dragon um, snaps off the beanstalk in which Richard Tyler has released from Jack the Beanstalk in his belly button. Um, um, whatever. And this is card number 74. This is ride-sharing. Ride-sharing. 
And there's Richard Tyler, he's still in the dragon's belly. Um, he's trying to climb his way out of there, but he can't. Um, that is before he grabs Jack the Beanstalk to look to the books as taken by the Page Master's advice um, to help him overcome what he most fears. Um, yeah, inside the dragon, card number 72. And there's next card, last card in this pack, there's Adventure. I'll be already been splashed by a, wa a wave of salt water, and there's some seaweed on his forehead. And he doesn't look that happy after being splashed by some water. And it's wet adventure, and this is card number 31. Okay, that's the next pack sorted. It's time to put these in the booklet again. Maybe I should put the aluminum cards at the end of the video, uh, at the end of the booklet. Probably the whole booklet. Okay, next pack. We have the same card, um, um, Richard Tyler climbing the beanstalk, and he still hates heights. This is still number 73, and we have the same card from entering Treasure Island, and the same card with when we're about to reach the exit, and this is the same um, lion from the entrance of the public library in the live action world. And horror and fantasy on the magic carpet again. Oh, and here's, um, here's Richard Tyler being grabbed by a pirate by his right foot. Um, a pirate is probably looking at his library card. And I think, um, I think the money that Richard's father gave him fell out of the pocket as well. And Richard's like, it's money, keep it. But this is the 18th, 19th century uh, where Treasure Island took place. Anyways, it's card overboard, and this is card number 41. And there's the angry captain in Moby Dick. Uh, I, I forgot who this character's name is, as shown in Moby Dick. Uh, there she blows. Um, uh, oh wait, Captain Ahab. It's Captain Ahab. Uh, uh, this is card number 33. And this is the same card, the same card with fantasy, but it's not in aluminum, where she carries Richard's library card. And there's the description on the back of this one. Um, a book with wings, because fantasy has wings, like on Tinkerbell in Peter Pan. And this is card number 21. It, it should say uh, card number 21 on this one as well, but this, is, uh, this card is aluminum. Aluminum foil, whatever tool it is. And that's this pack sorted out. Um, it's probably best to put a strap over it in case I forget which page I'm on. Okay, another pack. Sorry, Bobby Goldberg. Okay, let's see what we have next. Oh, we have the page master on the piece of artwork on the ceiling of the library where Richard Tyler enters the fiction section. Yeah, <laughs> title page master. This is card number 11. Uh, it, a decorated ceiling, and that's why I would like to describe it. It's the decorated ceiling um, from the live action world where Richard is. Okay, next card. There's Dr. Jekyll about to take the... Um, about to take the drink and puts an olive in there. The drink that makes him become Mr. Hyde. Colorful cocktail. Um, I wouldn't describe it as that colorful. Um, a haunting cocktail, if you like to describe it. This is card number 25. And I think that's another card here described um, from the Grimm's fairy tales. But and I see a genie coming out of a lamp, and I think in this corner that's Aladdin. And I think it has the answers from the properly from the puzzles and word crosses 
and spelling mistakes and mazes um, shown in this booster box of trading cards. And another character card, we have um, Long John Silver. And Long John Silver, the baddest of the bad when it comes to pirates, Long John Silver is the captain of the framed vessel, the, the Jolly Roger, that's the name of his ship. His total indifference to human life is the secret to his success. Long John would sell his soul to the devil of a piece of gold. Um, if he had any soul left to sell. One can only imagine what he'd do for an entire chest filled with treasure. That's who Long John Silver is in Treasure Island. Um, besides the Muppet Treasure Island version. Oh, but that's that's a different studio. Hey. Oh, this card is upside down. Okay. There's another look at the Page Master, uh, a close-up, uh, right where Richard is about to reach the exit. And it is like, think, boy. And on the top, there's Richard's True Victory in card number 76. And there's a Richard title again in his knight armor, the helmet, the sword, and the shield, about to face off with the dragon. And facing down the dragon. And this is card number 70. Uh, and in this booster box, um, all the cards, they go from 1 to 90, um, and which go from start to finish. And there's, there's Adventure who found Hawa being strapped up by the people of Lilliput from the Gulliver's Travel section, in which is the beginning of the fantasy section. And uh, Hawa comes to life. Comes to life? Um, I'll probably leave that title alone. And this is card number 56. One card left. There's Adventure again, and he's amazed because he found Richard Tyler's library card, um, in which it was thrown out to sea by one of the pirates, and it it, it washed ashore on the beach where where Treasure Island is. And the card is found. You said that right, Adventure. This is card number fifty-four. Okay, it's time to put these cards in. I go to another pack in this booster box. And I, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I lost count of what this next pack number is. I'm hoping we'll expect a splash of color from the decorated ceiling, which was about to melt when Richard Tyler is about to become animated. Okay. Okay, there's a scene where Richard Tyler comes across the fairies with electricity going around them. Um, like, I think they were performed by professional ballet dancers on green screen when the animation and live action team were in the production process of Page Master. Uh, you could say that these fairies are at play, and this is card number 59. And there's fantasy um, with horror. Um, fantasy is putting an, uh, hand, her hand around Hawa's arm, uh, a, help, a helpful hump, and that's the name of this card, card number 51. And there's another look at Long John Silver and his trusty parrot. Uh, our happy family, I wouldn't say our happy family, um, I, I would say Long John's happy family is a, a band of pirates. And this is card number 39. And there's Hugh's adventure again. Um, he's about to take a breath after being in the water for about less than a minute after being um, after being attacked by Moby Dick or the whale. He's one of the survivors. Um, this is card number thirty-five. And there's the giant squid from Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea by Jules Verne. And Richard Tyler and Adventure are about to climb the very tall ladder in one of the shelves of the fiction section of the library. Okay, the squid is released from the book, and the water is coming out of it too. And this is card number 19. Oh, we got Richard Tyler. We got Richard Tyler, our next character card. Let's see what it says here. 
uh, when the cartoon version of Richard Tyler is sent on an unbelievable journey through the world of fiction, the one terrified 10 year old is forced to take enormous risks and handle monstrous dangers. For the first time in his life, Richard must face his fears, um, must face his fear of everything. What he finds in the process is that he really pos possesses great strength, determination, and most importantly, courage. And which the page master whispered in his head, um, sees the courage, Richard. Thank, thank goodness I found Richard in this pack. Okay, two cards left. Um, there's Richard Tyler on the magic carpet again. I think he's about to grab Adventure. Um, which is underneath the magic carpet. And there's Clear the Runway, and this is card number 63. And fin final card in this pack, another character card, Fantasy, played by Whoopi Goldberg. Now on the back, oh, there are bubbles around the description. Fantasy. Looks can be deceiving. F fantasy comes from the graceful fanciful world of princesses and fairies, but her attitude is definitely from the shelves. And having been misshelved into the adventure section hasn't improved her dis disposition. But despite a sassy edge, fantasy is actually all heart inside and often saves the day with her magical wand and ability to fly. You could say that again. Okay, next call. Please let there be a splash of color somewhere in this pack. Oh, we got Adventure again, who finds Richard's library card. Oh, yes, I knew it. The splash of color. Um, uh, a tsunami of colors from the melted, um, undecorated ceiling of the library, um, where Richard Tyler in the real world is being chased by fire-breathing dragon in paint color form. and. The live action library is about to become animated. A colorful tide, a tide of colors. And this is card number 13. Oh, feel free to pause the video again if you want to read the whole description of each card throughout this whole and very long video. And there's a side of the exit right when the sun is about to rise over the events for section. And a distant sign, a very distant sign. And this is card number 30. There's the start of the transformation of Dr. Jekyll becoming Mr. Hyde. And, and that portion is really strong stuff. You say strong stuff, the question mark and exclamation mark. This is card number 26. And there's another Long John Silver picture. And I think he's holding a map direction which is leading west. Um, and now we're putting up underneath west, and I think that's a tree. If you look upside down, um, the pirates thought it was going to be a waterfall, but there are no waterfalls in Treasure Island. I hope so. Okay, three cards left. Oh, there's Richard Tyler in the real world, about to be splashed by the colorful tide of paint from the ceiling, and he's about to duck, and he's probably afraid of that one. Again, this is his fear of everything, pandophobia. Okay, color catches up here. Scared to death, Richard runs with all his might, but the wave of color seems determined to catch him. In moments, he finds he is surrounded by an ocean of color, the waves sweeping over him until he is completely enveloped. He's completely enveloped. And this is card number 14. Oh, another piece of the puzzle with the um, Grimm's Fairy Tales and probably a piece of artwork. If, uh, oh, <laughs> this is card number four, I suppose. And do you remember my advice? Um, uh, I think I need to add in the missing letters um, to what the page master is saying in, in this picture. And another character card, um, Captain Ahab, Moby Dick or the Whale. Captain Ahab, and this, this, is, this is card number 87. My mouth is tired, um, I probably won't read the whole description of Captain Ahab. You can pause the video if you like. Okay, that's that pack sorted. You know what, I'll put this one next to here, after this one. That page sorted. 
be back, be back with you shortly. Okay, next pack. There's another look at the Fire Breathing Dragon again. Store card number 61. And there's Richard and, the, and being scared of the Hound again, card number 23. Another, uh, um, another Richard Tyler saying that he's a cartoon, but he's illustrated. And card 15, another piece of this um, puzzle here. And there's the character card Pan again. And, the, and, and I think we have the, these are the same cards. Um, we, we already know these cards, I already went over them. And the dragon snapping the beanstalk. Uh, which child trying to make his way out of the dragon's belly and adventure being all wet and being splashed by a wave of salt water. Okay, next pack. Please let there be a selection of new cards in this pack. If it's the same ones, um, that's okay. I already went over them in the past um, over 40 minutes ago, I think. Yeah, around 40 minutes. And we have ourselves another count card to start this packet off. There's the page master himself and standing behind um, a long list, uh, lots of paragraphs and lines of words from whichever book it is. He's holding his staff and, and here's no Gandalf the Great from Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, or Professor Dumbledore in Harry Potter. And I'd be happy to read this description on him. Old, wise, and more than a little frightening, the page master magically emerges from the ceiling of the library rotunda. Rotunda, rotunda. Um, I'll put the meaning of this word in the title, in the next title card of the video. Describing himself as guardian of the written word, this gray bearded illustration rules his world from a firm hand. He sends the young fearless Ws uh, Ws I think Ws Richard Tyler on a wild adventure with only one piece of advice. When in doubt, look to the books. He said that right, Christopher Boyd. And yeah, we have the same page master from card number eleven, and we have and we we have another Doctor Jekyll about to put an olive in his poisonous drink on card number twenty five. Uh, we have the same one of this um, card number five, and the uh, and the answers on the back of this card. We have another Long John Silver. And another page master picture, the same one saying, think boy, um, uh, it's Richard's true victory. We have Richard Tylo again in his knight armor. And there's adventure in horror again from the Gulliver's Travels piece uh, at the beginning of the fantasy section. So yeah, let's put those cards in. Okay, what's next on this next? This is the same piece from the illustration that I've seen um, back um, back a few illustration cards ago. Um, this is page number three, uh, card number three. There's Pan again. I already mentioned him. Another dragon snapping a piece of the beanstalk. Richard Tyler again trying to make his way out of the dragon. There's a wet adventure. And this is new. This is the next card, um, Pirates Coming Across a Dead Man Skeleton on Treasure Island. It's double-crossed, and this is card number 44 in this booster box, um, 44 out of 90. And there's another look at Fantasy. And Fantasy is alive. Um, she, yeah, she's alive. She survived the incident with Moby Dick and the boat being crushed into a few pieces. And this is card number 46. 
Here's another look at fantasy. I'm sitting on a pilot's head um, with her magic wand in one hand and some probably some pixie dust like stuff all, all over over her, I think. And this is um, fantasy's finesse. It's finesse. And this is card number 48. That's that package sorted. Okay, let's go on to the next pack of cards. Oh, sorry, I hit my tripod. Oh, we're starting this packet off with another Page Master poster and the card checklist B. Uh, oh, number 90. It's number 90. This is the last card in all of the 90 cards included in each packet. And there's Richard Tyler holding a sword and pointing it in front of um, Long John Silver. And he's looking a bit frightened that something might happen to him if he was taken by Long John. But he wasn't. Richard defends, uh, uh, defeats Silver. This is card number 49. Card number 49. And the next one, um, Richard Tyler is in the hall section trying to find his way out of Dr. Jekyll's castle, his haunted house. He's being haunted by ghost stories. Uh, a ghostly greeting. It's a ghostly greeting. This is card number 28. And there's another piece of this puzzle. There's the page master coming from the trees. And I think that's a former, an, an angry woman having a, a rolling pin. And there's, I think that looks like Goldilocks. I don't know who that girl is. And there are books in pieces of trees, this tree over here, and there's some birds flying past it. And that's a beautiful garden at the bottom, by the way. This is card number nine, a, a word scramble. Another one of the puzzles in this training card collection. And there's Hollow sticking his tongue out um, and making a silly face, probably in Treasure Island when he was about to do the yo-ho-ho in a bottle of rum thing. And it's Booga Booga. <laughs> Booga Booga Carly reminds me of what um, Inspector um, Inspector Valiant said in Who Framed Roger Rabbit this, Anyway, this is card number 47 We have another frightened Richard Tyler uh, th This is another card that I haven't opened yet um, He's He just came across the fire-breathing dragon um, Considering it to be a mountain And considering it also to be an earthquake you could describe that as an earthquake at the start. It's a shaky mountain. The mountain was shaky when Adventure accidentally hit part of the inside of the dragon's mouth. This is card number 60. And there's Richard, finally excited, and he's happy that Fantasy and Hall are still alive. Actors surviving the boat crash from Moby Dick, um, being shattered into a million pieces. It's a reunion. You could say it's a reunion. And this is card number 50. There's Adventure again. I think he's about to be snatched by one of the pirates. I think. I think that's what happens in this part of the film. After arriving at Treasure Island. Okay, let's put all these in. <laughs> Let's go over to the next packet. Hoping we'll get another aluminum card in here somewhere. Oh, we have another Richard Tyler card where he's about to yell out to Horror Adventure and Fantasy that he's coming for them, he's gonna save them from the fire breathing dragon. Richard looks down from the building when he's almost about to reach the exit sign. And, and this is card number 68. Let's put you here, Macaulay. And there's the rest of the crew um, in the fantasy section, right in the middle of the whatever you imagine music sequence, and they come across Mother Goose. So long, Mother Goose, as they say. 
properly. Anyways, this is card number 58 in all of the 90 cards included in that booster box. Next, there's adventure coming out of a locked treasure chest. <laughs> um, when Hall was about to say, who's there, adventure, adventure who? Uh, what do you mean, adventure who? Let me out of this treasure chest. <sighs> come out, come out. And that's the title of the card, and this is number 52. Card number 52. Next, uh, Richard Tyler comes across Long John Silver and the Pirate again. Um, yeah, I think Silver saves Richard from probably from the sharks surrounding Richard and Adventure on a broken piece of boat wood. This is card number 38. Oh, probably should put you here, Long John. And there's Richard being rescued by pirates. Um, you can't trust a pirate wherever you're in the adventure section. Um, really a rescue? Is it really a rescue? You could say that it wasn't really a rescue. It was like a taking. And this is card number 36. And another character card. Uh, we've got horror. And there's, there he is on the back with his magnifying glass. Horror really does look horrible. What, what with his homely face and that unattractive hump on his back, any normal person would be terrified of him until they got to know him. That is, in reality, Horror is sweet, funny, a good friend, and wants to be liked by everyone. And this is card number 40, no, 84, sorry. And there's Richard Tyler and and Fantasy being frightened by a very um, haunting light. Uh, I think I think you could describe that as haunting. They're still in the horror section. It's a wall of flames, I think. Uh, and being trapped on the roof with the Frankenstein monster in hot pursuit, um, Richard and the others seem done for until horror knocks over some oil and thick quick thinking fantasy ignites it with a, a torch. Uh, they they watch as flames erupt, preventing the, the monster from reaching them. I'm thinking it's Dr. Jekyll or Frankenstein, I don't know. Mr. Hyde, sorry. And the last card, uh, another piece of the puzzle um, from the illustration. Now on the back, there is a maze. There's Richard Tyler here, and I think he's trying to find his way home. So help Richard to find the way back home, as explained in the, as explained at the start, um, Act One and Act Three, of the Page Master. It's part of the three act structure that I learned in media, in creative media. Anyways, let's put all these cards in. Okay, next packet. We have the same card here, um, uh, Richard, H Horror, and Fantasy being, uh, having, uh, wait, I think they're being caught by the fire breathing dragon and are about to make a crash landing on the magic carpet, and an unscheduled landing, in card 66 again. And here's Mr. Hyde again, uh, with the creepy eyes and the sharp teeth, in card number 27. And there's the same shot with the pirate, um, um, devil smile with the gun on both hands. And here we have Richard Tyler again uh, landing on the magic carpet. <laughs> and and eventual kissing fantasy against the same card, a surprise kiss. And there are the same fairies from the Whatever You Imagine music song sequence, uh, Fairies at Play. And there's fantasy and horror again with a helpful hump. Um, we could describe Paula as a helpful hump. And there was another look at Long John Silver and his pirate, uh, our happy family. Again, not Richard's happy family. I think I should stop there for part one. I think I should do a part two uh, on the next day. So thanks for watching part one and be sure to stay tuned for part two of this unboxing 
of the booster box of trading cards from the Page Master from 20th Century Fox, now called 20th Century Studios, that was before Fox was owned by Disney. Anyways, stay tuned for part two, and I'll see you then.